Loneliness is often seen as a negative state, something to be avoided at all costs. However, Robert Greene provides a different perspective. Loneliness, in its essence, is simply a state of being alone. It becomes beneficial when we use it as a tool for self-discovery and growth. Hello, and welcome back to Radio Book, where we explore the depths of human nature and the pathways to personal growth. Today, we dive into a topic that is often misunderstood and underappreciated, the benefits of loneliness. Drawing from the wisdom of Robert Greene, author of The 48 Laws of Power and The Laws of Human Nature, we'll uncover how loneliness, when embraced, can be a powerful catalyst for creativity, self-reflection, and personal growth. So, let's get started. Studies have shown that periods of solitude can significantly boost creativity and productivity. A study by the University of California, Santa Cruz, found that people who spent time alone reported higher levels of creative thinking. So, how can we harness the power of loneliness? Let's dive into some of the key benefits, starting with self-reflection and growth. Robert Greene emphasizes the importance of self-reflection. In our busy lives, it's easy to lose touch with our inner selves. Loneliness provides a unique opportunity to reconnect. Consider the example of Isaac Newton. During the Great Plague of London in 1665, Newton retreated to his family's estate. It was during this period of solitude that he developed some of his most groundbreaking theories, including the laws of motion and universal gravitation. Psychologists agree that self-reflection can lead to greater self-awareness and emotional intelligence. This can help us make better decisions and improve our relationships. Next, let's explore how loneliness can enhance creativity and innovation. Creativity thrives in solitude. Robert Greene argues that to truly innovate, we need to disconnect from the noise of the world and dive deep into our thoughts. Many artists and writers like Virginia Woolf and Franz Kafka sought solitude to produce their greatest works. Kafka once said, writing means revealing oneself to excess. This self-revelation often happens in moments of solitude. In today's fast-paced world, taking time for solitude can lead to breakthroughs in various fields. Companies like Google encourage 20% time, allowing employees to spend a portion of their work week on personal projects, often leading to innovative ideas. Moving on, let's discuss how loneliness fosters independence and self-reliance. Loneliness teaches us to rely on ourselves. It builds resilience and confidence, traits that are essential for personal and professional success. Consider entrepreneurs like Steve Jobs and Elon Musk. Their periods of solitude and intense focus on their visions allowed them to build groundbreaking companies. They learned to trust their instincts and make bold decisions. Research shows that people who spend time alone are better at managing stress and adversity. They develop coping mechanisms that make them more resilient. Now, let's look at how loneliness can lead to deep work and focus. Robert Greene emphasizes the importance of deep work, focused, uninterrupted time spent on meaningful tasks. Solitude is crucial for this level of concentration. Bill Gates famously takes think weeks, periods of solitude where he reads, thinks, and plans for the future. These weeks have led to significant innovations at Microsoft. A study by Harvard Business Review found that professionals who regularly engage in deep work are more productive and achieve higher quality results. Lastly, let's explore how loneliness can actually enhance our relationships. It might seem counterintuitive, but spending time alone can improve our relationships. It allows us to appreciate our connections more and bring a more balanced perspective to our interactions. Many people find that after a period of solitude, they return to their social lives with renewed energy and a greater appreciation for their loved ones. This time apart can strengthen bonds and improve communication. Research from the University of Chicago shows that people who engage in regular self-reflection are better communicators and have healthier relationships. In conclusion, loneliness is not something to fear, but something to embrace. As Robert Greene teaches us, it can be a powerful tool for self-reflection, creativity, independence, deep work, and even enhancing our relationships. By understanding and harnessing the benefits of loneliness, we can unlock new levels of personal and professional growth. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share your thoughts on how you use solitude for personal growth in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.